hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out officer tatum slams the red pill community for destroying young men and if you're yet to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing and without much ado let's see what officer tatum has for us in this video but a lot of young men and i've seen it on these shows they tell young men go out get with all these women run it up and do all these things women aren't it, you shouldn't do that I, I wouldn't tell a young man that it's not mm. conducive for a young man's growth to be a hoe This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Get the merch link in the description section. It's funny. I was at Jason Aldean's concert last night, and people were loving this shirt. They were loving this shirt. It was so much attention towards this shirt. It was. I was like, why don't I wear this shirt more? I didn't think that people would like this as much as some of the other ones, but people love this shirt. And I went to a coffee place today, to be honest. I was a little nervous, but the young lady was so respectful. She was so awesome, and I gave her an incredible tip because they shared a tip in the whole coffee place. So I gave her a really, really good tip. Um, but I was wondering because I know they liberal in there. If they saw this, would they not want to serve me? Because I was going to go viral if they did. But anyway, get you one of these shirts, Tatum Store. Like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into this. Pretty I nice, think you yeah. should date within your maturity. And I know my wife yes, is on the chat. Is. I seen her. Hey, baby. Uh, you got to you got to date within your maturity. You and him may be on the same level, even though it's a different of ages. And I, I would hate for him to be listening to guys online and not not L you listen to listen to guys online. Him, no, him to listen to like you know the people that sure, we mentioned sure, at the beginning sure. of the yeah, show yeah. that tell a young man is that she has no value at twenty eight. She been ran through and yeah. it's like no, don't don't really take that. Talk to her, figure out what her story is, and and that may be the greatest connection you've had. And y'all live to be married for forty five years. Yay. Uh, and you may only have two kids. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you're in the window where you can have plenty of kids. So people shouldn't try to think of that too soon. It's not worth it. Mm -hmm. I see. I just saw a woman on Instagram. She had five kids mm -hmm. starting at 38. She had 38, yeah, uh, 39, 40. She, her last kid was 44 years old. Yeah. So Courtney Kardashian. That dude ain't mad. <laughs> is that dude mad that she 44 years old having kids? And he ain't mad. His life is his life is happy. You can have kids, but just to bring it back to this, I mean, <laughs> so you're saying why do men seek to date and marry girls way younger than them? But you, in pretty recently, you said within two years, you dated a guy who was 14 years your yeah. senior. So, like, there's two parts of this equation. Like, it takes two to tango. It ha I think it happens to be the case that. There's a decent subset of women that are attracted to older men, True. and in the same way that young, in the same way that men are attracted, men to, are younger attracted women, to younger women, younger women are attracted to older men. And if older you look men. at the average age of marriage, I think it's men are about two years older for the or average age more. of it's like I don't know 20, 30 or twenty nine for men, twenty seven for women. Mm -hmm. So it just happened, and most women typically I would say date men that. It might not be an extreme gap, but are one, two, three years older than them. Mm -hmm. You typically see that play out. I think it just happens to be the case that men are attracted to younger women, women are attracted to older men. Now, I mean, there's obviously bigger and bigger age gaps that we can talk about, but um, it's just, it's okay when you do it. Like no, it's okay for you to no. date an older guy, but what you're upset that men within your own age group are dating women who are in their 20s. No. But you're stealing, you are basically stealing a 45, 44 year old guy from a woman who's in her 40s. In the same way that a 20 year old woman is stealing 30 year old men from you. She may steal a 20 year old, 23. I may steal year old. some 23 year old man, sure. you know? But, but women, women do want older men. I mean, my wife told me when we were first, we weren't even. Dating, she but I was interested. I was, oh, she was too young. I was interested in her. We were on a three-way text message. My friend tried to, you know, he tried to play matchmaker. He didn't tell her I was on the text, and he said, "Oh man, what's up with you and Brandon?" And she was like, "Oh, he's really nice, but you know, I'm looking for a guy that's like ten years older than me." So my wife was right. looking for somebody in their forties. So, wow. but because she didn't stick to that whole thing, she ended up meeting the man of her dreams that happened to be four or five years younger than her. Gotcha. And I was looking, but but me me I was I'm, attra I'm I'm more attracted to a younger woman, not a woman in her 40s, unless she's in incredible shape. But I didn't stick to that model. I said I'm gonna go with the woman that that matches my life, and that's what I did.
I like that. Word. And there's just like I, I also don't think with with the the woman dating an older man that's like a it's still positive about the status of the older man the narrative what i think is problematic is that the narrative about the younger women is that there is this knock on women on on women on older women do you, do you see what i mean it's like it's like it's like and there's this con and there's a narrative about on some of these podcasts that like w older women are are lower value so that the point that like a 29 year old i feel like i'm yeah the senior citizen and well, and that's the, not so the, a, a look, net the, positive the, for society the rea you're not as a human being we're not mm -hmm. talking about your value as a human being we are talking though there's just realities when it comes to the dating marketplace mm -hmm. and if we're talking about the dating marketplace and we're talking we're having conversations of who is more valuable in the dating marketplace in the same way that a guy who's six feet is probably more valuable on the dating marketplace than the guy who's five three it's just an it's just the reality like there's all kinds of things that might make you more valuable in the dating marketplace and as you age yeah you're just not only for I, women. I, well, I no, actually it's, think it's I, true, though. It's true, though, because and, and I see I what people it. are saying with the podcast. They got to be careful the way they say it. But what the encouragement is is for young women to be more serious about their dating when they're younger. I agree. Then to play and play and play, and you're 35 with all this baggage, and then you expect to get a man that's that's far beyond yeah. that so I get it so women should should understand mm -hmm. to a certain degree that you do need to be intentional yeah. more in in dating yeah cuz I was, not wait to you later I, you know later I we a lot and I know a lot of girls in my case we were told focus on your education go get your bachelor's go get your master's you were sold a lie you were sold a lie yeah and now I'm oh, I'm yeah and so now I'm adding value to myself but it's a value that I'm told is not is not but, but, valuable but, but tw and you're 29 somebody's an idiot to think that somehow you don't have value at your age you, you're talking about women that may be on the cusp of worrying when they get into their late 30s that's where women probably should worry because the likelihood of having children, things like that, become a lot more complicated. Twenty nine years old. Well, I bet there's some people in the chat that are. Th they're, they, they're they probably say. single, but you know, <laughs> you a baby compared to life in adulthood. You're you a kid. You're not even thirty yet. You still got a long way to go. These some of these immature men may be a little self conscious about their options or whatever the case may be. They may think that oh, because she's twenty nine, she slept with all these men, and they get they get bombarded with that stuff in their mind. You women should never be foolish enough to think that in your twenties that you somehow these young boys ain't the man for you. You know you need to get a real man that's that's mature enough and that understand the value that you have that's and true. that's willing to forgive you for for what you've been through, not mm -hmm. painting the picture of you amongst all these other women i'm telling you the, the guys that the guys that do this online and i know they hate me they're single they're single and they try to tell a, a, a young they, they're telling these young men these things and they're single they're not qualified in my opinion to mm -hmm. only have the the mic I think young men should listen to podcasts. They should listen to these men. They should also listen to men who are married. Mm -hmm. Because it, it takes a little bit of sacrifice, a little bit of maturity, a little bit of growing up as a man to actually officially marry somebody. But sure. but when you can't just these young men can't get bombarded with this because they start to give up hope and they look at these women as like damaged goods. Not every woman is, is sleeping around and getting ran through mm -hmm. and, and have a crazy body count. It, it's there are That's women true. that do it. Avoid those women. You should be able to you should be able to have a conversation with a woman and know oh your body count is high then don't give her another body count move on to another woman but a lot of young men and I've seen it on these shows they tell young men go out get with all these women run it up and do all these things women aren't it, you shouldn't do that I, I wouldn't tell a young man that it's not mm. conducive for a young man's growth to be a hoe just because the difference between men and women because women do it and they get shamed for it men do it they get celebrated for it, it but at the end of the day Imagine. it doesn't matter what the world believes you do not want to be a damaged young man and you do not want to fall into the trap of being single forever exactly. because these young men are going to be single because we just telling them oh, she's 35 30, 30 a 28 year old woman is great for this young man she got her stuff together. She's mature. Maybe she had a little life. She's over it. She, she had incredible value. But because she's 28 and he can't have kids with her and can't have her future, he's going to walk away from that woman and go to a mature 21-year-old and then get a, end up getting Imagine. a divorce. 
I, I, I hope I'm not ruining your show. No, no, no. Uh oh. Alvin Sam donated oh, five hundred dollars. Mute brand. Is that? <laughs> wow, you guys, that was such an interesting one from Officer Teton. I really agree with everything that he said. He really spoke from a place of knowledge and I enjoyed and also learned a lot from listening to this podcast. It was really an insightful one. I had fun reacting to this. If you guys totally enjoyed watching, give this video a massive thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.